We're on your side tonight, continuing the work of those who came before us. Charlotte's Brooklyn neighborhood used to be a city within a city. It was a bustling black neighborhood with its own schools, churches, office buildings, I mean, you name it. But it was torn down in the 1960s as part of urban renewal. Today, only three of those buildings remain. One of them is the Mecklenburg Investment Company building. It was once a gathering place for Charlotte's black leaders. They'd have important discussions about serving the greater good. And now it's going to be used again for that very purpose. On your side tonight, Gregory Simpson uses his camera to show us how art will honor this building's legacy. You are currently in uh, Studio 229 on Brevard, which is a building that's sandwiched between two historical buildings in what was a part of the Black Wall Street of Charlotte in the 1900s. But today, we call it the Brooklyn Collective, um, a collective of three buildings, the Mecklenburg Investment Company building, Studio 229 on Brevard, and the historic Grace Church. These buildings uh, really represent an era in our city of Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, where a city was built within our city that was all African American and built uh, not necessarily at the time by choice because at that time uh, when there was discrimination and blacks could not go into the white sides of town, we had leaders who decided to form this city within the city known as the neighborhood of Brooklyn. The Mecklenburg Investment Company building, which is now celebrating 100 years this year, uh, was a location where uh, African Americans came, especially the leaders, they would gather on the third floor of the building. They called it the lodge. Just having difficult conversations around the times and really talking about how even through legal means they were going to help make change for the betterment of the black community. And so these buildings became the very fabric of this neighborhood of Brooklyn and also a fabric and conduit for change. Today, a place of uh, inclusivity and a place where people of like mind gather for the greater good of the community, continuing the work that was done in the 1900s. This current art exhibit, which is debuting, it is the first of a number of art exhibits that will be debuting this year, um, all in a year's celebration of the 100 year anniversary of the Mecklenburg Investment Company building. And so this art exhibit actually uh, will debut about five artists. Uh, uh, many of them are national artists. We have one that's internationally uh, known. And, um, and it, within that will be uh, two local artists from Charlotte. My art is really more uh, just a general expression of myself. I consider it to be more realistic. It's more um, focused on details, capturing smaller details and, and how those details connect to the bigger picture. I think that when you, when you start looking at history, history has a big impression on your self-image, how you see yourself, how you see your history is how you see yourself. And seeing that history of the accomplishments of, of what took place and the fact that it's still there gives me uh, just a feeling of prosperity, a feeling of overcoming, a, a feeling that um, you, know, you can do whatever you put your mind to regardless of all the obstacles that might be in front of you. Well, we all know that Charlotte is known for uh, tearing down history to build the new and shiny. And we know progression is necessary, but we also know it would be nice if pieces of history could be maintained. And so uh, it is, it's really uh, beautiful to know that these buildings are still existing, that there are individuals that are committed to their, these buildings remaining in the city so that these pieces of history and the stories of what happened here are not forgotten.